Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are on page 15 of your student journal. And our objective for the day is, today I will represent, represent the, and I don't have enough room, so I'm gonna write down here, the value of a digit in a number. Okay, so let's look at that objective again. Today I will represent the value of a digit in a number. Okay, let's look at our vocabulary. So our first vocabulary word is a symbol, I'm sorry, is a number, and it says a symbol or word that represents a value count or order. So an example is two written in word form or 16 in standard form or one million. Our next word is digit. It's any single numeral from zero to nine. For example, the number 245 has three digits. So even though we call this a number 245, the numbers made up of the digit two, four, and five. And then value says the amount represented by a digit because of where it is located in a number. And this is what we're going to be talking about today, ladies and gentlemen, this part. So let's circle that because that's our important part today. It says the example. So in the number 245, the digit two is worth 200 because it's two in the hundreds place value. The four, its value of four is 40 because there's a four in the tens place value. So that means it's worth four tens, which is value is 40. And then the fives value of five is five because it means there's five ones. So that's what we're going to be working on today is looking at the value of a number based on where it is. So let's look at our steps. These are really good steps today. It says, number one, draw a place value chart, identify the underlying digit, and write the value of the digit model using base 10 blocks. Okay, so th some things that we're gonna do before. For step one, when it says draw a place value chart, a place value chart Looks like this, and remember if I'm writing in green, I want you to write it. And I'm gonna put a title at the top. So I have ones, tens, and hundreds. That's going to be how I'm gonna draw my place value chart. Ones, tens, and hundreds. Okay, so once you do that, then it'll help you underline You'll underline the digit and know what place value it is to know the value. It also says you're gonna model using base 10 blocks. Okay, so remember a base 10, a hundred square or block looks like this. That is equal to 100. A 10 rod, we draw like that. A 10 rod we draw like that and that is equal to 10 so it's not a 1 it's a 10 rod and then a dot is equal to a 1 unit so it looks like that so this is how we'll be drawing them so make sure that you have this down okay ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna do some on my own that you can watch me here's my first problem my first problem says, model the value of a specific digit in a number, ones, tens, hundreds. Write the number 725 and underline the digit two. Okay, so if I look at my steps, the first thing it says to do is to draw a place value chart. So I'm gonna draw my place value chart. my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. Okay, then I'm gonna put this number in there, a seven, 
two, five. Okay, my next step says, identify the underlying digit. So they want me to underline the two. It says underline the digit two. Okay, then they tell me, write the value of the digit. Well, this is worth two, and this T is two tens, which looks like this, because it also wants me to, to draw it, two tens. So two tens is worth 20. So my answer is 20. This isn't an 11, this is my two 10 rods. Okay, let's look at another one before we do some together. Here's my next one. And it says, model the value of a specific digit in a number, ones, tens, hundreds. Write the number 351 and underline the digit three. Okay, so step one is I'm gonna draw my place value chart. And I have ones, tens, and hundreds. And my number is three, five, one. Okay, and they want me to underline the three. It's my next step. Then it tells me what? I have three hundreds. That's what that says. I have three hundreds. And if I was to draw them, that's what I would have, three hundreds. So three hundreds means that the value is 300. That is what that three is worth. Okay, let's try some together, ladies and gentlemen. You're on page 16 in your student journal. On page 16 in your student journal. And here's our first problem. It says, write the number 482 and underline the digit four. Okay, so step one was to make a place value chart, but they already did it for us. So we're just gonna take our number and put it in here. So four, eight, two and they want us to underline our four. So we have four hundreds, which four hundreds looks like 400 blocks. So the value of that four is worth 400, because this is 100, 100, 100, 100, so 400 is what the value is. Okay, let's look at our last one together. Okay, and it says, write the number 534 and underline the digit three. So again, they made the place value chart for us, so we just have to put our number in. So five, three, four. And they want us to underline the digit three. Okay, so what do we have? We have three tens. And if we were to draw that, that's a one 10 rod, a 10 rod, and a 10 rod. So this would be 10, 10, and 10 equals 30. So the value of this digit is 30. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, your teacher's going to have you do a couple problems on your own. Have a great day. Bye-bye.